What is this? Sure, yeah, just do? take them around. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What is this smooth ER? Do? Smooth ER is involved in lipid synthesis. So, like fats. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, hey, can I get you to draw me a rough ER? Has everybody drawn something? Can you can you have oh, yeah. Can you, you can draw Oh, John? Perfect. <laughs> well, you can draw some smooth. They look, they're just looking like um, little, um, just like back and forth, yeah, little structures. And then the rough has ribosomes on it, so draw some little ribosomes, and the smooth does not have them. So is that. And then the last structure we're going to talk about today um, is the Golgi body. And the Golgi body is involved in processing and packaging the proteins that the ER just made. And it actually passes them into vesicles and sends them out to where they're supposed to go. So it gets them ready to do their jobs. And I'll just get, does anybody want to draw a Golgi body? Sure, it's, yeah. And it just looks, it looks very similar to the, e, the smooth ER, but it's just more, um, I guess more extensive. And it, yeah, so just draw kind of little matrices. Okay. And that is end of our lecture and so I will hang this up uh, in the room when we're done with it and we will have our very own little representation of the cell and this yeah is, if we want is this an animal cell this is an animal cell and so um yes <laughs> right and the difference does anybody maybe remember <coughs> the differences between plant and animal cells that we talked about last week what is an animal cell what does a plant cell have that an animal cell doesn't have Something that Stuff is so sunlight. Right, so what do we remember the structures that are involved in photosynthesis? There's chloroplasts. Well, chloroplasts. <laughs> and then there's one other thing that the plant cell that makes it more rigid that it has. Right, what's it called? Cell wall. Very good. Those are the two main structures that the plant cell has that the animal cell does not have. Okay, do we want to go over our quiz that we had at the beginning of class? Okay, so um, I guess the cell membrane is probably the easiest one to get because it's the outer membrane of the cell. And so that's the entire cell. So when you look into the middle and you see the big um, structure in the middle that contains the chromatin on the inside and also there's a nucleolus that's also in there. Um, that is the nucleus. So the, and then, yeah, so it's the whole, the thing, fourth, in the the whole thing in the middle is the nucleus. And then um, the cytoplasm is pretty easy. It's just uh, the space in there. It's um, the second one. Yes, the second line. The third one, that would be a vesicle. We, yeah, we were talking about that one. The fourth one is definitely what, though? Mitochondria. Mitochondria, good job. And then, okay, the, the fifth one is uh, maybe a little bit tougher. Do you know? What's, what's the difference between the third one and the fourth one? Uh, the fourth one has an internal, like a matrix internally, yeah. and so it's used for the, um, they're both bean shaped. Though. They are both bean shaped. They're, and like, even if you look down you to the, at the lysosomes, yeah. they're also circular, so it'd be hard. The second to last one. A lysosome. a lysosome. And then can they all look the same sometimes like if you're looking at an actual cell? Yes. Yes. This beautiful cell that we have here is not what an actual cell looks like inside of the body. It's not that pretty or colorful. And we will actually in the lab um, next week we'll actually look at the differences in <laughs> plants and animal cells and it will be very fun. Um, okay, any more that you'll have questions about, that we're wondering about? Mm -hmm. Chromatin are in the inside, they're the squiggly things that look like spaghetti. Is the ER the part that's coming off the nucleus? Yes, and so the rough ER is the one that has the um, little dots all over it. Okay. And so we don't, yeah, well the smooth ER is the one that doesn't, but. And then the Golgi, usually the Golgi body is situated further, like on here, it's right here. It's closer to the cell membrane because its um, job is to take, like for vesicles to take the proteins to where they're supposed to go. So does this one have multiple Golgi bodies? Um, yes, looks like it. 
Okay. Okay. Any questions or anything? All right. Good job, y'all.